Howdy folks, I just want to do a uh, quick video as a part for my slow videos, my slow paced, slow motion videos. Uh, I'm in the midst of uh, conquering the power of the sun. That's what I'm in the midst of doing right now. Getting my solar panels, battery things set up. And I wanted to make a video to give a special thanks to uh, a Mr. Van Freedom USA. Big time help man stepped up in a big way put the team on his back and to you sir if you would like to private message me I will make sure your your address I will make sure you get one of these sweet motherfuckers right here this you can be inside of me sir this is the uh, the beard free uh, Luke Capasso t-shirt the coveted Luke Capasso t-shirt Made in America, American made by my dad. That's quality. This is good, stretchy, stretchy material for you, sir. No, but for real. Because uh, one thing I learned in life about this is mainly a problem with, with men. Women don't necessarily share. Women have their own problems, but this is a problem for men. You can ask a man a question, and a lot of times, whether or not he knows the answer, he will give you an answer, whether it is wrong or not. And I learned that very young, but sometimes I forget it. And he asked a lot of guys about batteries. I was like, this guy, he sells batteries. He knows about batteries. And he just starts saying words. And I'm like, hmm, yeah. Just eating it up. Yeah, okay. And then I start doing that thing. And then later, a man like Mr. Van Freedom USA comes along and sets you straight. And I'm like, I should probably look that back up. And he's totally right. Save me a big headache, and you came along right in the midst of the... I don't... I'm going to totally ruin the other big epic video I got about all the other projects, because I'll be talking about this stuff as I'm doing it, and then have a video of what's going on already. I don't know. But I also did a little show tonight. I did a show tonight. It was nice. It was in a, it was in a house. It was in an apartment. Uh, still nice. Um... I used to play, my last show in London was in a theater, a famous theater, and now I'm playing one bedroom apartment. Well, I don't know if it was a famous theater, they called themselves the famous, the, it was like, you can't, if you put famous in your own name, are you really famous? Was Amos actually famous, or did he just say that because it rhymes with Amos? I don't know. Would Jake the Snake Roberts been a different name? But yeah, now I'm playing in apartments, but I enjoyed it. I'm going to work my way up to maybe a ranch or a bungalow, even. I just wanted to say the word bungalow. And a couple of people asked me to post my set video myself doing stand-up online. But it, the place looked like this. This is what the place looked like. This is not me on stage, just another guy. But what I'll do is I always record the audio for just when I'm trying new jokes. And uh, I'll play you a, a couple new jokes, just the audio of it, because that's all I had. So hold on. Listen to the audio. <laughs> well, my favorite part of the debate I watch is when Ted Cruz is like, no man should be president who doesn't spend every morning on his knees. And I like, <laughs> he's not talking about sucking dick. He's not, no laugh at that. He's not, no president could suck everybody's dick every day. <laughs> That's an unreasonable expectation of any politician to be sucking up everybody's dicks. That's not... They should be doing some administrative stuff. He was talking about Jesus, is what he's talking about. He's talking about you should have an imaginary friend. That's the number one thing before you go into office. Is declare your love for an imaginary friend so the country can trust you. Yeah, sorry, I didn't have any video... And again, it's new jokes, but I'm always trying new stuff out, so I don't usually bring my can. I know I video everything that I'm working on. I could just bring a tripod there, but when you go there, you kind of you got your jokes written down. You try these shit for these people sitting in front of me, uh, but it's easy to just record the audio so I can try it later. I'm always preparing for this big imaginary show in the future, so I'm not really sure why I'm all precious about it, <laughs> but I don't know. Who knows? Anyway, while I got you here, I want to show you something awesome. You may or may not think it's awesome. I think it's awesome. Are you ready? Are you ready for it? 
That's another light there. Here it comes. Sit down. Are you are you are you seated? You buckled up your seatbelt? Cause it's about to blow your fucking mind. Holy shit, it lit up blue. I don't know what that means. I have no idea what that means, but that's a panel I just installed connected to solar panels on the roof. Yes! I'm fucking winning life. It's a big deal. It's about a third of the battle. Again, I'm ruining the other video. I'm fucking ruining it for you folks, and I'm sorry. However, I want you to let you know that although my batteries are set up incorrectly at the moment, they are being charged by some solar panels. Because uh, some people sincerely seem to care. And that touches me right here. Uh, that's my heart, just so you know. Uh, anyway, folks, uh, this has been uh, a late time lazy video. But I'm uh, doing it to you, giving it to you, giving the goods. And uh, yeah, so uh, once I get the uh, everything else set up, I'll give you an update on all that stuff. And again, Van Freedom, I hope you're watching. If not, I can always message you. Why well, am I putting the honus completely on you? That's not fair. Uh, you got a t-shirt coming your way, buddy. I know, Brandy, you were working for being top commenter. However, I'll still give you a t-shirt if you really want one. They're nice. They're really nice shirts. They're long-lasting material. Anyway, folks. I got English there for a second, folks. Anyway, folks, uh, thank you for stopping by again, my RV. And uh, I will talk to you later. And good night.